everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. For uh, a, a kind of crazy deck here, we have four color control. So this is basically a lot like my Grixis discard deck. But you know how with Grixis discard, everybody says you can't destroy enchantments with your with your deck. That's the problem with this deck. You can't destroy enchantments. And the other the other that's one knock that people have against it. The other knock is you don't have like a good sweeper. You know you only have ritual of soot. You can't kill like you know carnage tyrants and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do here is we're adding in a fourth color. We're gonna add in white so we can have some mortifies that can help us destroy some enchantments. Uh, we got two in the main, another one in the sideboard. So now we can destroy enchantments, and we have Kai's Wrath. So we got three of those in the main, another one in the board for whenever we're playing against like Soul Tie and stuff like that. So we have a good sweeper there. We even have some Deafening Clarions also for aggro. So we have everything in this deck. Um, we got, you know, we have our our cool uh, regular Grixis stuff that we're doing here with uh, Thought Erasure, Disinformation Campaign, Nickel Bolas, and Grath. We have ways to destroy enchantments. We got a good sweeper. Uh, we even have Teferi for a lot better card draw than what, what we really have in Grixis. And also Teferi is another answer for enchantments and any other problematic permanent that may come up. So we got we got everything. The thing that we don't have is a good mana base. <laughs> Our mana base is pretty sketchy, but um, it's as good as we can do. I mean, we are playing four colors. It's not the easiest to curve Thought Erasure into Deafening Clarion. You know, it doesn't, doesn't always work <laughs> very well. Um, but, you know, like that's, that's, that's what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to see how well the, our mana base holds up. Um, I've played this deck a few different times before. I have not tried it with a single Chromatic Lantern in the main deck, so this is new. So let's, let's try out a Chromatic Lantern and just kind of see if that helps stuff. Who knows, maybe we play a Teferi early that, that helps us out and, and everything like that. Um, the, the, basically, the glue to this deck is Discovery. Because Discovery, uh, you can cast it with blue mana or black mana. So basically, if we have like our blue mana or our black, we get to cast Discovery on turn two. And Surveil 2 draw card is really, really crucial when you're playing a four-color deck where you're like, okay, I need my white mana, or I need more red mana, or, you know, like... If, if, you know, it's blue or black, if you have black, you need blue or, you know, vice versa. So this this card is, is basically the glue that can hold this deck together. It's easy to cast um, and really helps us dig for whatever specific lands that we need. Uh, that's that's about it. That's our deck. We got some Lyra Dawnbringers in here for aggro as well. Of course, our Thieves Sanity is against control with our regular Duress Negate. Um, yeah, let's... Uh, Let's be really greedy today and see how we do with four color control. We're not really going like, you know, two colors, splash the other two kind of thing. We are going all out here. This deck wants Kiora. No, we don't want Kiora in this deck. That'd be a different deck. Alright, we got the Angrath Mirror. With Angrath's tiny little hammer. Whoa. I was like... I was like, wait, I definitely hit Mulligan. <laughs> when it started to have me keep that. That was weird. Um, I think we can ditch the land. This Chromatic Lantern is looking pretty good for us right now. <laughs> Stomping ground. Why would you want to stomp on some grounds? Alright, let's take Phoenix. Um, probably don't need another land for now. I mean, it is it is just a, a solid land, of course. We'll have the Deafening Clarion be able to clean up the two goblins. 
Um, maybe I should keep it. Yeah, I'll just keep it. Because, I mean, we're going to want five mana. Those having, like, the five drops and everything. And I already know that I, I put one land at the bottom already. Alright, so plan is play Chromatic Lantern this turn. Next turn, have Thought Erasure, you know, Shock, Thought Erasure plus Deafening Clarion. Please go haste. Hooray! Maybe I don't even need to Thought Erasure. Like, you know, maybe I don't even need to Shock to Thought Erasure. It's only one card we don't know about. We don't really need to take a Goblin or a Lightning Strike too much. It's basically if that one card was a Rekindling Phoenix kind of thing. That's a good one. We got two cards in the over there right now. We'll keep that. So we're basically at one. Maybe I don't need to keep this. It's just a good card. We need them to draw some lands here. Oh man. That is not a land. I got a campaign into cast down. Uh, I am not Draxiak. Hey, Doom Waffle. Deckmaster, thank you. Right, let's bring in all the all the removal and the Lyra Dawnbringers. Hey, sculpt of mine. All right, Deckmaster should be up now. Let's cut Angrath. And Campaign. I don't know, I like, I kind of like Campaign. But yeah, I guess I'm cutting campaign for these other Clarions. Let's do that. Doing good, Wumpus. How are you doing? I'm sorry to hear that, Wumpus.
Alright, gonna look for land, Clarion, Kaya's Wrath. Let's take this Kaya's Wrath. Yeah, we got a week for the season to end. Maybe we should have kept that other bolus, honestly. I don't know. I mean, we didn't know we were drawing another land, though. But. Bolus is kind of cool. Okay. I don't mind that trade. We already got good mana. We got everything we need from our colors. Ugh, Phoenix is annoying. Do I want the six land? Actually, I may want the six land. Yeah, I mean, I guess I just want six lands. Alright, we're gonna Kai's Wrath here so we can get rid of this Phoenix. That worked out well. Yeah, Discovery's really good. Yeah, this is this is a four color deck. It's it's like Esper with some red. Also. All right, so we're going to be able to, to take up and um, on our end step. We will contempt the Hellkite. So they're down to two cards. We're out of cards. Uh, well, they're drawing a third, but we got we got Teferi in play and we have an Ascanta flipped. Yeah, hopefully socks. Hopefully. Alright, let's activate as Kanta first. Not like that. Let's do it like this. Not activating my one red source. We'll get a cast down in here. Tuck this thing. Time's much more malleable than people think. Hmm. It's unfortunate that has hex proof during their turn. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Stop tapping my one red source. Auto tap. All right, you can tap my one red source now. Keeping the, I'm going to want to save the Contempt for the Phoenix that's going to be the next draw step. So we're just going to look for something else for a Spellbreaker. I, I have not played that deck. I've played against it. Um, a little bit. That's, that's fine. So Dispersal doesn't answer the Phoenix also. 
Let's just take that and contempt this thing. Ascant is a really good card. It's the new sets on thir is Thursday on Arena. Rotations when the fall set's going to happen at the which is sometime around the end of end of September, beginning of October. Bounce the Phoenix, they discard something else. We will take the Phoenix. If you pre order, can you use gold to buy extra packs? Yeah, no, no, you can do that right away Thursday. Like, you can use gold on, on Thursday to buy packs. You're good there. No, ma no matter whether you pre-order or not, you can still buy packs on Thursday. Trust me. I'm not ready for this quite yet. No, no, you, you still get... Everybody can get the, the set on Thursday. That's just like a special deal they have. You know what? I'm not done yet. We're not too far from going back to the, like both of our Lyras are over there, our other Bolas is over there. So I want to save this Mortify for... <clears throat> that works. That also works. So we grab Teferi here, and then we can set up a, a Lyra Dawnbringer for our next turn. I'm not sure if I really even want to show my opponent Lyra Dawnbringer, though. I don't really want to. Because we're going to be winning this. Either way. Should I let Teferi die? So how far down is this Nickel Bolas, basically? One, two, if I clear off four, and then clear off four upkeep, then we got Bolas. Alright, so I'm gonna go... Okay.
We have a lot of annoying, kind of difficult cards to deal with. We basically only won that because of the card advantage as Kanta gave us. I'm not, not in love with our chance here. Game three. Yeah, disinformation campaign would probably be good here. That's the that's the card that I'm looking at that I kind of want to put in, but I don't really know what to take out for it. Yeah, like I I do think disinformation campaign would be good here. Yeah, there'll likely be a you know like there's probably going to be like play war. Um, how there's play allegiance, play Ravnica. There, there may not be, but it seems pretty likely. I think it's better to do the sealed with the 50% win ratio than buying the packs. I mean, that's, that's like our best answer against Phoenix, but just hopefully they don't have Phoenix. Obviously they have Phoenix. It's also a good answer to Phoenix. I know my responsibility. Let's take it back. Good, that thing doesn't have haste. That's good. Ah. We will meet again. Alright, what else we got? Ooh. Multiple Kaya's Rats. I have one white mana right now. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> Found all the Kai's rats. Super Beast FM, welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for the uh, sub there. Yeah, poor mana base. Uh, arena's working just fine for me. Ice burning. Hmm. This Phoenix is going to be annoying to deal with. They haven't played a land in a long time, so it, you know, it just seems like they have you know more spells in hand. Okay, I actually like, yeah, I like having this Thought Rager to see what they got. What do they got over here? Hellkite and Worm. Worm just costs more mana. Let's keep this retreat for our second white. Maybe they'll do plus one, plus one. Uh, I was hoping they'd be scared of Death and Clarion. Okay. 
We are kind of stabilizing. Tilt. Ooh. That's a great one. That's a great card. That was a great card. And this deck is sweet. I think I'm going to wait. So I don't think I want to minus right now. I could grab Teferi, which would be nice. But I, I think I want to tick up and have the ability to minus and go grab the Ravager Worm. I think I think it's you know so if I if I minus four then like there's there's a chance my nickel bolus dies and I think bolus is too valuable. Three four five ah one mana short of playing both of these. All right, let's go grab Ravager Worm. Isn't death amusing? Fight. How? And we picked up the win. Wow, was our deck impressive there those last couple games. The mana base actually worked. Uh, it's not like we... Um, yeah, Bolus MVP, no kidding. <laughs> Thanks, Jelly. It's not like our opponent wasn't, uh, you know, putting together really good offensive, you know? Like, that was... That was just pretty impressive there. <laughs> hey, what's up, Hairless Bear? Wow. Four color control. This deck looks sweet. I'm liking this. Alright, we got Thought Erasure on two. Then we can kind of see what's going on. We would be able to curve Thought Erasure into Deafening Clarion here, if need be. We do have that curve. Unfortunately, it looks like we're playing against Simic. I mean, we're playing against Simic Nexus, and so this Clarion and Kaya's Wrath not going to do too much for us. And... We drew another Kaya's Wrath. Like these are just like the worst cards we could be drawing. Nice, a Mortify. See, and y'all are saying that... See, Grixis decks can't deal with enchantments, huh? Well, now we can. Unfortunately, I've already used two ways to surveil. Be able to pick up this campaign. Alright, they got the Frilled Mystic over there. Now it's kind of like the waiting game here. Yeah, we, we could have also cast Gol uh, Bolus Dragon God. That's true, Nickel Bolus Dragon God. Could have curved 
The Otter Razor, Deafening Clarion, Nickel Bolas, Dragon God. What's the first deck I want to brew whenever war hits? Good question. Um, so yeah, I'm planning on streaming for, you know, like 10, 10 hours or so on Thursday, maybe 12. We'll see. Um, and a few decks. I'm planning on playing Grixis with Bolas. Planning on playing um, Gruul with both the red and the green gods. Um, Ronus and Ilharg. Ugh. We are not drawing very well. Um, I'm planning on making a... Maybe a black-white deck with like Oketra and uh, Bantu. I'm playing 26 lands. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't love Feather and Boros Angels, but I think that there's a good Feather deck. Uh, as we talked about during the the war set review, I think there's a good feather deck that's not necessarily um, angels related. Yeah, I think Oketra's pretty good. Yeah, Hazaret was still alive, I think. But I think Hazard was like doing something else. I don't remember what it was. It was, it was there's something else going on with Hazard. Oh my gosh, they're drawing all of our removal. I mean, it doesn't seem like they're drawing too great either over there. They could just be sitting on more root snares and frilled mystics. Wow, that's what Hazard's doing, protecting the people left on Amonkhet. Amonkhet. Midnight Slayer with the resub. Welcome back to Value Town Midnight Slayer. Thank you so much for that resub. Enjoy all those cool emotes. All right, third sub of the day. Resolve. Yeah, new tie color. Just use the Clarion on that thing. I don't think they're near. Yeah, they're... Oh, Chemister's inside. That's going to put him at enough to be able to flip this as Kanta. Dang. All right, well, we're going to have to sideboard out all these other cards here. I mean, they, they're just... Like, if I kept up Mortify, they had another counterspell for it. Or, I mean, I guess if I, if I just don't kill the 3-2. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess I just didn't really expect them to flip as Kanta there, but they did. I I don't really imagine us winning that game, no matter what I did. Like, one Mortify was not beating all those cards in our opponent's hand. Scared of all these cast downs, Kaiserats, and Clarions. So this is what we have left. Can we get rid of Lantern? 
in this matchup? I think so. And the contempts. Let's do that. Yep, opponent played very well. They did. All buddy lands here. Um, so Drown Catacomb, of course, is our best land, but it, it's also like the easiest land to come into play untapped. Like, basically any shock land will help out Drown Catacomb. Am I going to need Dispersal, basically? I mean, Discovery, of course, also picks up the campaigns. Thanks, Anthropod. Or Poid. Thank you. So I feel if I play Thief, they're going to bounce my Thief. Let's, let's just start this campaign trail going. Kind of like having negate back, like negate up with thief. Do I just want to play bolus? Could Thought Erasure and have Negate available. Let's get Bolas in play. Alright, looks like I'm not stopping this as Kanta from transforming. All buddy lands hurting again. Like be able to have five mana. Yeah, if we if we could erasure, that would have been nice that turn. But it may not be bad just being able to erasure after. Ugh. Yeah, it looks like we're playing gates. This has just been a, a really unfortunate game here with this this mana situation. You know, like if we just had even our shock land, we could have had like negate for the Escanta on turn two, and you know all sorts of stuff here.
Oh, oh no no, oh, I didn't play my stupid land. Urgh. So I'm gonna have Thief with like the with negate back up to be able to, to help it out here. Um I guess I'm just negating that thing. Ugh, wish I would have played that Dragon Skull Summit. Whoops. Alright, so they have a Nexus. Yeah, I still don't block. I just feel like Teferi's gonna get countered if I try to play at minus three reclamation. Even if it, even if it doesn't get countered, they would still they would just pick it back up with the Ascanta. It'd been really nice to play that other land. So next turn I'd be able to flip my Bolas. We're just pretty we're just pretty dead. Re reclamation Ascanta is too powerful. I needed a shock land at some point. It's too slow without it. That is the price we're paying here with four colors. Price we're paying here. All right, one on one. All right, another shock land adventure. Or non shock land adventure, sorry, another buddy land adventure. There we go. Perfect. Um, I do want Bolus. I don't think I need the watery grave. If it added white for Kaya's Wrath, maybe. It does not. Looks like we're playing against traditional Grixis. At least that's what they got so far. You never know. This could be a mirror match. They could be playing four color also. <laughs> yeah, my Grixis discard deck. I have I have the one duress main deck. I don't know if that's what we're playing against or not, but yeah, that duress main deck crushed me. That disinformation campaign would have been a per. Perfect. All right, Bolus resolves. Play Bolus. Even though Thought Erasure would help us, you know, resolve an Angrath the next turn, but they'll probably like play a Contempt here, and then we resolve Angrath. Whoa. All right. Main deck on Ward Ego. That could be my Angraths, which honestly trading the two Angraths for two lands is really not that not not that bad for us. Uh 
uh, you know, like, or just two random cards, not two lands, but we just trade it for two random, two random cards. Because we, you know, like, hitting land drops is pretty valuable for us here with having Nicol Bolas in play. And we get the Thought Rager to protect it. We may even find a Mortify for the Escanta with these, you know, with these couple cards. So that's not so bad for us. Ah, make all sail for high and dry. Oh. All right, well, I still want Thought Razor to protect. I, guess I could have campaigned first and see if we hit. I mean, campaign's great. See if we hit another blue source. That's annoying. I really want to give them a land. Lands are really good with Escanta. Unwisely. Should have gave them the Ral, not the land. I mean, I guess they, they had another land in hand, but then we could have had them discard the, the Ral. I mean, obviously, we didn't know that we just had a blue source on top. The time though. has come. But now the Ral gets to kill the Bolas. Hey, what's up, McCarty? I get so many looks at a removal spell here. We are in a lot of trouble. That Ral. I get so many looks at a removal spell between their draw step, the next two cards for Ral. An excellent choice. Plus has can't activation. Hope we get something good. Yeah, Planeswalkers are good. It's unfortunate how this ended up with... If I would have just gave them Ral with that Karn tick up, we actually win this. I think, like, we probably win that because we would have been able to flip our Bolas. Yeah, like, we probably win that. But we did not... That's unfortunate. <laughs> we haven't been catching too many breaks here. Last couple rounds. Again, the control deck, we have so many sweepers. I think I like keeping two Mortify and two Contempt. I think we need, you know, we need to keep some removal. 
I don't know what other card I want to cut here. I like all these cards. I don't really have a card to cut. I could take out a thief. No, we're on the play. Could take out one campaign. No, campaign's great. I guess it's a duress or a negate. Uh, or a discovery. I mean, discovery's awesome, though. All these cards are good. I'll just trim a duress. Yeah, on the 25th, Arena is going to be going down. It's going to have maintenance um, starting at 11 a.m. Eastern. And they said they expect it to maybe last up to two hours. Or, like, that's that's their expected time was two hours. So I was planning on streaming at noon on, on Thursday. But it looks like the set may not be out right then. And so basically I'll start streaming... Uh, whenever the set's available. As soon as it is. If I take Negate, then we can have Campaign Resolve. But the War Boss... Ugh. Would have been a problem. That's good. That's good for us. Now campaign gets resolved. That's good. Oh, they drew that mount. Oh, so they didn't even have the, the second land for untapped for negate, did they? Oh, no. Now my campaign's gone? Ugh. They have a whole lot of removal here. Wow. This is... Ending up pretty bad for us. We just have four lands and one card. They'll have five lands and two cards. Man, the Angrath is really good. We don't have red mana. Yeah, sealed will be right from the start with the new set. I'm definitely going to just take the thief. The thief trades with the bedevil. It's just, do I... Next turn, do I want to draw Angrath? I mean, I guess not, since I don't have red mana right now. So, you know, it would be leaving Angrath on top when we don't have a red source. They'll have the, the best two out of three draft where you spend gems on will be available right away, but not the draft where you spend gold on. That won't be available right away. I mean, just like... Just like last set. Yeah, if you have a high win rate, the best of three draft is really good. It's it's a high risk, high reward draft for sure. Hopefully not another removal spell. They've already played duress or I mean sorry, contempt bedevil. No removal. Land? Oh, baby. Alright. Um, 
Alright, nothing else kills this. I'm limitless. Okay. Thanks, King Toll. I know what must be done. Those are some good draws. So what happens we have less cards in library, because we don't have the Teferis to draw, so we're gonna have to draw other things, so we'll draw those. Legion War Boss can take over. I could lose to Legion War Boss. Play a third Mortify. Or like one, like Clarion or something. I like the Duress more than the Gate on the draw. I want this Duress back in here. Um. Warboss is something I, I need to be worried about. A little worried about Kai's Wrath. And Mortify. I'm gonna take out one campaign on the draw. Because we got the Thief of Sanities in also. I'm gonna play another Mortify. This is why discovery is so so good. So even if you are, yeah, you, know, you can have blue mana or you can have black mana. Get to cast discovery either way. Hey, Robin. All right, we're getting rid of this. I'm gonna keep the duress. Even though it's not, that's about the only card that was not blue blue mana that I would keep, because we get to double spell next turn with discovery plus duress. Hopefully that's all the threats. Please don't have more threats. No more threats. Pass turn. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, War Boss is really good in these kind of matchups. Awesome. So no patience. No patience over there. Can we get that bolus out of there. Up. 
Never seen water burn. I think we're going to kill our opponent faster by taking up than they will with this 1-1. I don't think we need a minus on it. Oh no! No, not another bolus. No, that card's so good. Fire and fury. Wow. That was no fire, a very, very no lucky draw stub. We need a Contempt or a Teferi. Um, or a Mortify. We didn't like have the ability, or like a land would have let us activate as Kanta plus find Mortify ah, if we would have drawn a land. Nothing but slag when I'm done with you. No fire, no steel. So I did that on my turn because of disinformation campaign. But then we found Teferi, and I still think it's just better to take Teferi, even though... Alright, whatever. That's... It's fine. <clears throat> Get to draw a random card. How <laughs> to be good at magic. Learn to top deck. I don't think that Ego card really is helping our opponent too much. That stands for a donation deck. That's a deck that... A viewer donated to see on stream. <laughs> Basically a deck that I did not make that myself. Alright, let's look for a threat. Hmm. I'm gonna ditch these for now. No fire, no steel. No, no dispersal in the draw step. Shiver my horns and hammer. We're looking to find a, a bolus or a. Uh, Thief of Sanity. No fire. I haven't no seen one of those in a little while. No, I don't plan on killing this. One one with a mortify. Fire and fury. There's one bolus at the bottom now. No fire, no steel. We got our opponent's dead in four turns with Angrath here. Ah, you'll be and save and mortify slag. for a real threat. No fire. Yeah, opponents no are strong lands. It never stops, it's just plus plus one, minus one, plus one, minus one. This and Grath just goes up, then goes down, goes up, then goes down. No fire, no steel. And that should do it. We have another bolus over here, right? If not, we could get our opponent's bolus. <clears throat> no, we did not. So we were going to get our opponent's bolus there. Two and one. This deck's been pretty sweet. This deck's been pretty sweet.
Alright, we got our shock land. We on the play? Ugh, on the draw. Another main deck duress? Dang. Turn one to rest, turn two thought erasure. That is really good. Yeah, I want that Angrath. And we of course need another land. Keeping, I, I really like keeping the Angrath on top of the library because of that. Because of another Thought Erasure, they don't get to steal it. So that works really well for us. No Thought Erasures anymore? So if they play Teferi this next turn, do we play our own Teferi or do we play Angrath? Which one should we play? Bradero, thank you so much for the kind words. Hmm. If we don't play our Planeswalker here, we know that they're just going to Chemister's Inside and draw more cards, and it's just more likely that they're going to find Counter Magic. It's so, like, this is... You know, it's just the... It's the least likely it'll ever be that they have Counter Magic right then. The chance of Counter Magic just improves. I am not going to sit this one out. I suppose that's how it was meant to happen. Your hand's been Let's skip to the good really, really good for a control mirror, though. Just in general. It's not been much cast down or Kaya's Wrath or anything like that. Ours has been good, too, though. They didn't make the Dragon Skull Summit. Yeah, Dragon Skull Summit and Hinterland Harbor for some reason. They didn't make the card style for those two, which is really, really lame. So yeah, we just have to play with this. This crappy Dragon Skull Summit here. All right, it's a top tech war. They get to they get to surveil on theirs, but we get to draw first. Ugh, Deafening Clarion, what are you doing? What you doing, Deafening Clarion? There are three cards deeper than us because of that chemistry's insight right now. So first three draws were all bricks, land land clarion for us. Their first three draws were all cards they've kept in hand. Land 
Lantern's basically a brick at this point. But the campaigns are good. Nice, make them discard the Kaiserath. Boom, Bolas. Old Nikki B is never a brick. Good old Nikki B. Man, their hand was awesome. They just didn't have the Teferi. And we had Planeswalkers. They did not. <laughs> Alright, let's see what they got. Let's see if they have their own Thiefus Andes or anything like that. <laughs> I was so sure we were dead a few turns ago. <laughs> If only we had more lands, then we'd have too many cards in hand. Um, we're going to need that land. Let's just keep it. Intellibeam saying keep up the good fight. Thank you so much, Intellibeam. That resub, that's our fourth sub of the day. Hmm. Alright, they did have turn three Thief of Sanity. Did not really keep removal in. There's a removal spell. Only kept a couple in. So contempting on their turn, so they got absorbed, they got to use the mana on their turn. And hoping that now they don't have mana to keep this Angrath from stealing the Thief of Sanity now. War of the Spark is essentially a rap battle. Cleared off a bunch of lands. So they've seen land, 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 land. We're at six. So let's go Graveyard. Transform. So I guess I could... So I could Angrath, or I guess I could just Bolus with Negate back up. That's probably better. Making them discard a couple lands just is good whenever we're trying to have, like, you know, Negate battles and, and they got Thief and everything. Love it. Tapped out for that. Now we get to Angrath, steal the thief. Hmm, I could even flip Bolas, but let's go Angrath. <laughs> and there we go. A chase stokes the forge. A top Sultai deck? Yeah. I got you. Uh be ready to take a screenshot. Kind of thing. I can get you a good Sultai deck. Um, 
move some lands up here so you can see all the lands. There we go. I like this ulti deck quite a bit. I just kind of moved moved some stuff over to, to help out there. All right, there you go. Got a disinformation campaign. Hey, Thor, doing good. Yeah, doing real good. <laughs> yeah, Cyborg does not like flying creatures, no. <clears throat> Mono blue is like... Um, there you go. No, I don't, I don't like Assassin's Trophy at all. I hate giving opponent lands in standard. I, I think it's, I just don't like it at all. And, you know, the canopies, of course, are for Wilderness Reclamation for the most part, but then it's also for Mono Blue and uh, Drake's. But that, that sideboard's pretty narrow, but I think it covers, like, what the deck struggles with. With stuff like Mono Blue and um, Reclamation and things like that. Yager with the donation! Digging the Discord update. Here's a little something for the time it took you. Thank you so much, Yager. Yeah, if y'all haven't noticed, today I spent spent a couple hours updating the Discord channel, and um, we have tons of different rooms now in the Discord channel. Uh, it's free for everybody, you know, like, get on in there, talk magic, um, and everything. If you like talking magic, you... Uh, want to help help others improve get some advice for yourself as well all that kind of stuff check out the discord channel so I want this hollowed fountain and I think I want Angrath too to help end games quickly let's do it yeah we got we got a Game of Thrones chat room too um, with a, a Obviously, with spoil, you know, spoilers. If if you're not caught up on the latest episode of Game of Thrones, you may not want to be in that room. That's up to you, though. The Ashino Pyromancer and a whole bunch of burn spells. All right, so I'm taking a Wizard's Lightning, uh, expecting Viashina Pyromancer to be played this turn, but maybe not. Maybe it's possible it's not. Oh wow! Well, the, the next turn that I would be able to cast... You remember, I couldn't cast down that turn. I couldn't cast down the Lava Runner that turn. Um, so I would I would have to wait till the next turn to cast down. And the next turn, I was going to be Kai's Wrathing. Anyway. Oh my gosh. All these light up the stages. Campaign's a good draw. <clears throat> I can do that plus cast down this Chain Whirler and take take one of these burn spells out of their hands. That's three light up the stages already. want to use a burn spell to finish off Angrath. Like if they want a lightning strike Angrath, that's that's a great trade for me. 
Um, hopefully not Chain Whirler. You know, just really hoping not Chain Whirler. Uh, the Ashino is just as bad as Chain Whirler. Same thing. Damn your eyes. Ram a new course free. So we're going to get hit down to six. We're dead to a lot of things. That Viachino Pyromancer was rough. We're going to need a lot of help here. That is not the beginning of a lot of help. Is still not a lot of help. <laughs> okay. That's good. Okay. We're doing it. All right, sideboard time. Let's get Dawnbringers, a bunch of negates, um, these extra Clarions, and looks good. Let's get rid of. I guess Angrath's gonna go. Um, maybe I don't need Kaiserath's if we have the Clarions, and we just play extra Mortify also. Just mana wise. I mean, Duress is not bad, of course. Um, I, I guess I'd rather have Duress than Disinformation Campaign, just mana wise. So let's go ahead and give this a try. Um, the best, if you if you want to beat Mono Red, uh, you probably want. Um, Maybe a deck like our Mono White Angels that we're going to play later. A deck with um, a lot of Angels. They are very good against Mono Red. Uh, you, Esper. Esper can certainly be built to beat Mono Red also. Like an Esper Dovin Security deck. So Godless Shrine helps... These Clifftop Retreats come into play untapped. We need... Oh no. This is, this is going to be tough. Yeah, Clarion can give our creatures lifelink as well if need be. Gosh, I guess I'm going to have to just pay two life. Here. Shock in for Mortify, but then I can have Mortify, you know, then I can actually curve out. Atriu, 11th month sub, two year follower. Thank you so much, Atriu. So I'm number five on the day. Valor Axial, hey, good afternoon. I had some more questions, Valor Axial, about your discard deck. I've been looking at that. Ooh, that's a good one. No frenzy, please. Um, I want to know just like, just kind of like what you thought of 
regular Grixis discard that I play. And... And, you know, like, kind of from there, like, where I should be going. It really does look like Thought Erasure and Disinformation Campaign. Campaign in particular is, like, one of the best things uh, for, like, continued discard. Um, but then Angrath's also, like, a really cool discard card for continued discard. Do you know that deck list? I, I can find a link to that deck list. No time for a break. Drink some Wada. A little bit of water left in there. Hey, Zerf, going good. Yeah, feeling good today. Want me to phase you out of time? It's only a matter of time. It's all about time to you, isn't it, Fairy? Let's get this lightning strike out of here. Yes, please. So basically, if, if you want a different deck than, than that Valor Axial, um, do you want do you want like a, a deck to be like less controlling than that? Do you do you like do you like the Grixis color combination? This isn't um, a fight you can win. Right. That's. Yeah, so that's that's what that deck does. It empties their hand so that you can have like your Angrath and Bolas take over. Yeah, that's that's what that deck's doing. And how how would you like your deck to be a little different than that? <clears throat> Disinformation uh, campaign. You said Demir control discards your favorite deck. Did you see the the Demir deck we played yesterday? Disinformation. We played a... Whoa. It's there on the YouTube channel. It had Haunt of Hightower focused around that card. That hand's just not going to win. Hmm. I can't have more shock lands. Okay. Emptying their hands, then things that punish you in some way for not having cards. Gotcha. Yeah, there isn't... Isn't anything exactly like that right now, but with, with War of the Spark, there's a Planeswalker called Davriel that kind of does that. Hmm. Okay. I really just don't want to shock. And so decided to use this turn to Discovery instead of Thought Erasure. Uh, you know, with them being stuck on the two mana, it doesn't seem like their hand's going to be empty anytime soon and that the Thought Erasure wasn't going to lose value. That was their perfect light of the stage. That was their perfect light of the stage. Uh, here you go, disinformation. Check check that one. Dealing with this Phoenix. 
Ow. Ugh. Lightning mirror? Can't be blocked by blue creatures? Jeez. So dead. I can't even block this lightning mare. Wow. Wow. All right, they got a burn spell to kill us. No burn spell, no burn spell, don't kill us. Oh. Uh. Dang. So three and two. This deck played really well. We had a lot of close games. Some where, you know, we barely won. Some where we barely lost. Um, but this deck was really sweet. Yeah. Um, Elanot, I, I negated, no, keeping negate for Wizard's Lightning didn't, didn't matter. Lightning Strike and Wizard's Lightning did the same. Um, so, if I, if I don't negate, we go to two and then our opponent could just pass and they just, they wouldn't really have any incentive to cast the wizard's lightning at that point so now we need to negate that lightning strike they're both three damage um arguably i could have i guess with the thought erasure i could have just taken one of the burn spells and left the pyromancer of course um should have blocked the turn before i mean i guess i don't blocking isn't really how i'm gonna win though it would you know keep me alive a little bit but i'm not really winning by blocking i can't i can't block uh, I couldn't block the th the 3-1 creature because that thing can't be blocked by blue creatures. I would have had to block uh, Rekindling Phoenix that would have just came right back. So, uh, Thanks, Nefer. Thank you so much for that sub again for the third month in a row. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, maybe... I guess like the the good part about blocking the phoenix would have gave us an out to drawing deafening clarion though. Um, but yeah. Uh, or I guess you know if we would have if we would have blocked, we would have had you know obviously the top deck Lyra that I kind of forgot about being in the deck just in general. Oh well. Oh well, fun fun league, a lot of fun games there. Uh, you know, some really close ones. Model Red's going to be pretty tough, and our both the games that we lost against Model Red, their hands were just amazing, and we, you know, didn't weren't able to uh, come through. But both times, you know, we were like, okay, we're good, and then they would draw light up the stage, and the light up the stage top decks were nice. But it was still still really good close games, and it was a fun deck to play. 
yeah, four color control, thumbs up. So there we go. Um, all right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. Uh, also, don't forget to join the Discord channel. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can find the link to the Discord channel uh, down below in the info panel. Um, and it's a, you know, if you don't know what Discord is, it's like a big chat room type type of thing with a whole lot of different rooms. Uh, been setting that up over the last week and spent a lot of time on it today. Um, there's the link for everybody in, in chat, so you can join the community there and talk magic. All right, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.